Yo guys, what is going on? Randy Moop here. Before I start this video, I just want you all to know that this video is 100% truth. This video was made by me and I just love every single one of you guys. Also, number two, if you do support this video and all the other videos I do, smash that like button and the subscribe button. Post down in the comment section below any suffering that you've gone through so I can try and help you. I'll message every single one of you back. Number three, guys, of this quick before we get into the video bit is that my camera might autofocus so I might lose focus sometimes on myself I can't help that it's the camera um, I will try to drop by next video if not then I'm sorry I've retaken this video about five times and I just gave up on the autofocus so yeah um, I hope you enjoy this little video I just want you all to know that you're not alone in this suffering and enjoy bye Dear Anxiety, I get that you want to warn us about the possible danger in this world. We're really thankful that you've got our back. If a tiger escapes from the zoo and tries to pounce on me, I'm coming for you. The thing is, okay, the thing is, we don't need you to warn us as much as you think we do. The stressful thoughts and the mind movies you show us of every, of every possible thing that could go wrong are actually more harmful than helpful. They make us feel uncomfortable. Physical symptoms cause stress that wears on our body and exhausts us. Just like when insomnia comes down and takes us. They're doing the opposite of what you want us to do, which is protect us from harm. Also, you were wrong a lot. You didn't have a good track of time or records. Remember when you told us we left the curling iron on and the house was going to burn down? What was all that about? It wasn't on and the house was perfectly fine. Remember when you told us that our friends were mad at us because they didn't text back? after the first five seconds. They replied soon after you said that stuff. You said, I love you BFF, and that the pain in my stomach was appendix. Just because you got a little bit scared that we, when we watched Matilda in grade two, it was really you who hurt my stomach. You hurt my stomach every time I think of something or every time you give me this bad thought in my head. Nothing was wrong, silly goose. Some of your reminders are nice and helpful. We like how you want us to work hard in school and pass our exams. We like how you want us to look both ways before we cross the street. Good job being constructive. High five. But some of your chatter is over the top. Though. It's kind of distracting. Which is, again, more, ha more harmful than helpful. Life is precious and the people we love is precious. We want to be there for them, with them, and spend precious time with them. We want, them to, we want to give them a clear mind and an open heart. I'm too scared just in case they think I've done something bad. This is why we're not believing anything you say anymore. This is why we're saying thank you for the warning, but I'm okay. That's not me. That's my anxiety. And then changing my focus. Also, we want to live an adventurous, fun life. When we made plans to do something like fly to Italy, and you're like, don't do it. What if this bad thing happens? We're still gonna go to it. The more times we do these awesome fun things and you come along and the bad things you predicted doesn't happen, the better you will feel about our adventures. Also, I have one word for you. Gelato. So while we can appreciate your constant concern, let's save it for the real friend. Let's use our energy to create more awesome stuff in the world and less unish for us. We are awesome. Our vivid imagination. We love our excitement, our creativity, our spirits and constant ideas and projects. But let's take a few deep breaths. And have some tea. There's no tigers around that escape from the zoo that is gonna ring my doorbell and come join us. We're okay. Love your person. Be yeah, everyone who suffers with anxiety. I have suffered with anxiety for quite a while, quite basically all my life, and it hurts my stomach, it hurts my brain, everything about me hurts. The only thing that doesn't hurt is going to sleep. When I go to sleep, my whole mind just clears and I forget everything. All the harmful things, all the nasty things that my brain is telling me that everything's just going to go bad when actually it goes good. I was too scared to go to school at some points because my stomach was hurting because of the anxiety, because this thing inside my body was telling me that everything's going to go bad and really it goes good. I was too scared to speak to people, meet people. I'm still too scared to even go to gatherings because I'm too scared of what everyone thinks of me. I walk across the street and I feel like everyone's looking at me. 
that's the anxiety. The anxiety is telling myself that everything is looking at me and everything's going to go bad. But there's some ways around this. Do not take medication, okay? Do not do that. Go out to the country. Go and explore the world. Pass by your anxiety. Tell your anxiety you're doing these things and I don't care what you say. You have to put your anxiety behind all your thoughts and bring out the good stuff. Bring out the good stuff that makes you really who you are. Go across that road. Put your head up high and walk across that road and smile at everyone. Go meet your friends. Go to school. Go do all the things that you should be doing at your age and enjoying your life. Not what your anxiety thinks you should be doing. There's one tip I can give you all who suffers with anxiety that's helped me a lot. For the last five, about six, five, six, seven months, I suffered with really bad anxiety. My stomach every day, single day would hurt. The one thing that made me really good and passed by the anxiety was yoga. Deep breathing, relaxation, it helped. Going for long walks out in the country, get away from the four walls that surround you is good. It will help you meditate and relax. If you cannot sleep at night, just go for a walk or make, go make yourself a hot drink. Forget about all anxiety. Nothing can make your anxiety worse apart from yourself because you, you feed and you play against your anxiety. So if anyone is suffering with anxiety who's watching this video, I love you all. You all we all need to just take a couple of deep breaths and calm down. Before you walk out the door, you've got to look yourself in the mirror and tell yourself that you look good. Walk out there and smile. I love you all. Peace.